request docking. Deploying cargo scoop. And it, request docking. Charging frame shift drive. No. Request docking. Powering and deploying weapons. Attacking. No, no. Oh, shh. Welcome. Commander Mal for the win here for HCS voice packs. So you've got your HCS voice pack installed and you're ready to hit the stars, right? This isn't the way. That's what I was saying. Can I finish, please? Whatever. Anyway, the software your HCS voice packs run in, called Voice Attack, uses the speech recognition engine built into Windows to listen to your voice, recognize key phrases, and execute the proper command. But it needs to know your voice to understand you, and it relies on your voice to be consistent. For that, you need to do two things. Set up your microphone properly and train your computer to understand you. Here are a few things you need to know before we get started. Speech training may take up to 20 minutes to do it right, but it's critical you do so for optimal results. You may need to do the training several times, when training the speech recognition engine, train as you play. Use the same mic, same placement, same equipment, and same settings that you'll be using when you play your game. Let's get started by setting up your microphone. First, make sure your recording device is set to the right microphone. Click the Start button on the taskbar, then click Settings, then System, then Sound from the left-hand side. You could also right-click the sound icon in the system tray and choose Open Sound Settings. Make sure the microphone you will use for voice attack while playing your game is selected under Input Device. Once you've verified this, you can go ahead and close out the settings window. Next, let's make sure voice attack is listening to the correct microphone. In voice attack, click on the options icon or the spanner icon or the little wrench or... Dude. <sighs> Under the Options pop-up, on the Recognition tab, look for Windows Speech Recording Device. It'll probably be set to Default-whatever-your-default-speech-recognition device is. You can change it to a specific input here if desired using the drop-down. Click OK when you're done. Finally, put your microphone where it'll be while you're playing your game. If you use a headset mic, adjust the headset to ensure it fits comfortably over your head. Position the microphone about an inch or around three centimeters from your mouth, slightly off center, just off to the side, slightly above or slightly below your mouth. Confirm that the front of the microphone points towards your mouth. The front might be indicated by the word talk or a colored dot. If you have a more standard XLR type or USB type microphone, place the microphone on a floor stand, a desktop stand or tabletop stand. You may attach your microphone to a boom arm if desired. Consult the documentation for your microphone to determine optimum settings and placement. Typically, these types of microphones are placed as near to you as possible, usually between 6 and 12 inches or about 15 to 30 centimeters from your mouth. Confirm that the front of the microphone points towards your mouth. Again, the front might be indicated by a colored or metal dot. Is there a point to all this? Yes, I was just getting to that. With everything set up properly, it's time to open the Windows Speech Recognition Trainer and get down to business. There are a couple of ways to get to this tool. The easiest is probably to go into Voice Attack, go to Options, Recognition tab, click the Utilities button, and select Speech Engine Training. Other ways to get to this tool include right-clicking the Voice Attack icon in the taskbar, select Speech Control Panel, then click on Train Your Computer to Better Understand You. You can also click on the Windows Start button, start typing in Control Panel, and select it when it appears in the results. Under View By in the upper right, select either small icons or large icons, click on Speech Recognition, and click Train Your Computer to Better Understand You. Before continuing, make sure to close Voice Attack to avoid triggering any responses or commands during your speech training. Now, just run the Speech Recognition Training Wizard. This will take about 5 to 7 minutes to complete. It'll walk you through a set of phrases that you'll need to read out loud. As you read each phrase, it'll fill a small portion of your progress bar and move on to the next phrase. You don't need to click or type anything during this process. It's entirely done with your voice. 
When you get to the last phrase, you'll have the option to do more training or exit the wizard. I'd recommend clicking on that button to do some more training. Go through at least three of these sessions for optimal results. Close the speech trainer when you're finished. Ready and waiting. All right then, let's see how it works. Fire up voice attack again and try three to five commands of your choice. You can find a list of commands in the reference guide specific to your game that came in the zip file with your HCS voice pack download. If the commands you say are registered as recognized in voice attack, you're good. If voice attack still has some trouble understanding you, run the wizard again. You can run the speech recognition wizard as many times as you like. Each time you run it, your computer will get a little bit better at understanding you. Now, before I let you go, here are a few tips and tricks for using voice recognition on your computer. If you change your microphone, you should run the speech recognition training wizard again. If you add or change any filters, effects, or any other sort of voice changing equipment between your microphone and your computer, you'll also need to run the speech recognition training wizard again. This also counts for software-based filters and effects. If you have an HTC Vive, Oculus, or other VR headset, make sure you perform the speech recognition training wizard with it on. If your computer quits recognizing you suddenly, particularly after Windows or other software updates on your computer, go ahead and run the speech recognition training wizard again. That's it for this tutorial. Amazing. Thanks, Alpha. Not. <laughs> Be sure to drop by the HCS Voice Pack's official Discord if you run into any problems or need some help. You can also stop by my stream at twitch.tv slash mal for the win to ask questions and see HCS Voice Packs in action. The next video will be an introduction to the HCS Voice Pack Customizer, a critical part of your HCS Voice Pack control and experience. Until then, this is Commander Mal for the win, reminding you that thanks to HCS Voice Packs, you never have to fly alone.